I would I would like to start by uh, uh, talking about uh, some uh, new modalities uh, or expectations for uh, our sat uh, Saturday uh, Skype. Um, thing yesterday and uh, and today we uh, I discussed a lot with uh, Kelsey concerning the the tenor of uh, the next uh, of of subsequent meetings uh, this African uh, Skype uh, group. I think uh, the name is of a bloated because it's no longer representative of uh, of of Africa it's just a, a question and answer session which sometimes is not uh, very satisfactory uh, and we would like the emphasis to be on the on the things that are happening on the ground in form of projects or some activity. So, um, it's unfortunate or it's fortunate that uh, we may have to, uh, to change uh, maybe even the name of this meeting. It just may just be a normal Skype meeting um, and when the Africans, uh, fellow new friends uh, are ready, uh, we could uh, resume the African Skype, Skype meetings. Because now everything is just in, uh, would I say, disarray or what? Yeah, there's no feedback from the ground. Uh, Mariam, uh, I talked with her yesterday, or she called me. I've been trying to get to her for a long time. Uh, no way, but uh, I'm sure she she somehow sensed that I was trying to get to her. And then she called me yesterday. For, we spoke for about two minutes. And she informed me that uh, uh, the internet in, the, in Congo has been has been cut. The government has suspended the internet because of uh, political reasons, agitations, and all the like. Certainly, they don't want the outside world to know what is happening there. And uh, certainly, there are brutalities, committed uh, killing of civilians. There's war raging, on, uh, raging there. And a, a part of the Congo is, uh, is threatening to 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 break break up from the from the main uh, from the rest of the country. Congo is a sprawling country, very big, this in the heart of Africa. And uh, <clears throat> uh, this region is called uh, Katanga. I just saw the uh, what I will. We call it what the white paper or something or a statement on their on their on their revolution, and so you imagine that uh, that country is uh, in very big trouble now, and there has always been trouble there, but now it has intensified very uh, greatly, and so the new the new friends there are incommunicado. They have always been. The internet has always been intermittent, and uh, in fact, they, there's, there's little they can really do uh, to to remedy the situation, because as you know, we are at the mercy of the the authoritarians. The authoritarians in any country are supported by by outsiders, by people. Who, who prop them, international corporations, governments, and all the like, who want to maintain that hold on power in order to exploit the natural resources of, of the, those countries. 
So the uh, Congo is in this situation now, uh, coupled with uh, the the problems that uh, uh, Mariam has, uh, her personal uh, problems, the other uh, new friends. And so for the moment, in fact, uh, it's uh, difficult to to have anything done there uh, because times movement is uh, is uh, curtailed and uh, people have to stay indoors or from be hiding in the bushes and all the like yeah and the situation in uh, in Cameroon where we have uh, no friend to been trying to get him do some uh, carry out some certain activities no way there's been no way since uh, 2016 the country uh, des uh, descended into darkness the internet was uh, was cut there and only international pressure had it come uh, reinstalled partially after almost one year and up to now, as we are speaking right now, the war has intensified as from February. In fact, uh, the, the English speaking uh, part of Cameroon will be in total lockdown. There will not be even a fly on the streets because the war has reached another level, so nothing can be done there. In Nigeria, we have uh, uh, intermittent uh, electricity uh, stoppage outages, and uh, the new friends there, well, we have uh, Grayson who manages to come, uh, but, uh, Ebiok, with whom I've been communicating and whom, with whom we, we, we arrived at many conclusions, is nowhere to be seen. Even on WhatsApp, by messenger or by email, no reply. So, in fact, uh, it's so confusing. So we cannot really get anything done there for the moment until uh, the situation improves. And so, uh, for us to continue to call this meeting the African uh, Skype <laughs> with uh, just one or two Africans is, I think, it's a misnomer. So, at, uh, as we discussed with uh, Kelsey, it is good that this meeting is uh, dedicated to the projects and even the the guy uh, you guys on board could uh, we could brainstorm on how to to help the situation out uh, what help can be given what uh, innovative uh, thoughts and actions can be can be applied there to have uh, something uh, something going that is if the situation uh, clears up so that is how it is. So I really, I really crave your indulgence. I don't know. It is, it is even what uh, Dwayne uh, expects and every other new friend on board here. So this may be, I've not really, uh, this meeting will be a, uh, will be one in which we maybe I would like to listen to to some some proposals, some suggestions from all and sundry what how we can turn things around, how we can help. That is 
take into consideration that things come back to 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 normal could just make some suggestions some proposals while waiting that things change while hoping so i don't know whether uh, uh, some of you are following of what is happening in especially in west and central africa have you had any uh, any chance to follow up on the the current events there you should should understand what i'm i'm talking about yeah doing charles that was excellent so that got you to uh bring us the uh the new report here so uh yeah this is the next step okay so yes i get it it's the world today and uh yes we're very focused here on what we're doing everybody is and so uh uh listening to you yeah well look at some uh, uh i know there's a lot of african groups here uh, in the united states doing certain things and people doing uh certain things with africa etc so this brings about a new challenge so it's always a challenge to be creative yes uh, things are shut down uh, in a particular, but uh, people aren't shut down individually. So mm, I'm just going to do what uh, here, what I've always done anywhere, and the Africans can do this too, is uh, what's uh, there's there must be some kind of communication. There always is something. Okay, so this this becomes kind of the fun challenge to figure it out there's always another way you just have to keep looking at it so even if they have to go out there individually uh like king and uh, grayson and the others and talk to you know just the man on the street uh just start off with asking the question you know uh, do you fly in your dreams and just go up to people and ask them that do you fly in your dreams and so, uh, you know, that starts it off. And uh, if you want to know more, just sing the new you and, uh, you know, look for Reposar in your dreams and uh, et cetera. So if it becomes person to person, that's what it becomes. And this is what the world is and it's not going to get better. So, but uh, this will prompt us to look at some African groups, Charles. I see what you mean. But, you know, it's just like uh, when situations like that happen, uh, you know, the, the news media and whatever, they send journalists over there, you know, to get right into the war and everything. I mean, they're right there on the ground level. Uh, their lives are risk. Lots of times they die, whatever, etc. That becomes the adventure, too. You see? So uh, this is the earth. This is what it is. Uh, like I've said many times, there's a bigger picture coming. I'm very focused on that. I have meetings every single night with that. Uh, last night was a two-hour meeting, and this entails the Rebusar and the Real Guides and, and a lot more. Uh, it's a much bigger picture that is coming. Uh, it could be here any time, but uh, uh, in the meantime, we do this. But uh, something along those lines, Charles, you see, uh, just, just very, very real. Uh, this is how the situation gets. So uh, you just have to be creative. You you don't stop because the world is getting worse. It's not getting better. It's not going to be like, oh, we're going to get back to normal. You can think that, but until it does, it's not. Uh, especially with, with, with what's coming, the, uh, the controllers of this world. Uh, it's just getting worse. So if it's bad now, it's going to get worse. Uh, that's all there is to it. Just like in California here with the fires and everything, you know, over the years we've had these fires and now we see where they're from, mainly the, uh, you know, the lasers, the, uh, the, the laser weapons and destroying things, starting fires. I would see this, uh, you know, most of my life here in California, all of a sudden the fires are ablaze and you see it on the news. Oh, they're out of control. These fires are out of control again every year. That doesn't make sense. You've got people all over the uh, the forestry and stuff like that, and the Smokey the Bear signs, 
you know, etc. And all of a sudden, the fire's out of control where these people patrol these things. Well, we see it's purposely done. And we see it comes into this age here to where they're blatantly destroying things. And so uh, it's not going to be to where these things will pass. It's just getting worse. And yes, I'd like to thank Kelsey, too, in the beginning here for everything she's done and what she's brought forward, uh, et cetera, and uh, giving her report, too. Because, again, uh, yeah, this is the world, and uh, each person in some way wants to wholeheartedly get involved, make this first, because this is why you came here this lifetime. You didn't come here to get a good job and have a nice house and drive a nice car. Yeah, you can. You have those things, okay? These are little toys that we have here. You came here to wake up and do something real and to recognize the isness. And so uh, until that's first with your intent, uh, you're really not on your way uh, to the real universes because it takes a whole lot. So with the world getting intense now, yeah, war is the focus. So there is no such thing as, well, we can't do this or I don't have time or whatever. Well, then you've just postponed uh you know your journey because this is how real it gets and we're in this intense time and we've uh, shared many experiences and uh, people passing over who thought that they had accomplished certain things here were actually uh they've spent their whole life here uh and that actually got worse for them to pass over to the other side because they didn't pay attention and so that's just very, very real. So it takes a whole lot, and it's putting the whole of life first. So yes, Charles, I know it's bad, but uh, uh, it's going to get worse. So what are you going to do? How are you going to figure it out? What comes first in your life? You see, so there are ways to do it in every which way. You know, there are uh, just there are many organizations around the world, and we have that problem too with contacting these people uh just like the colleges we don't get you might say good results and uh occ is an example we went through nothing but defensiveness with them val has done wonderful in the communication going there even has even went to the arizona one right now and they're not contacting us we're trying to just set up an event there uh, a community event uh about the environment and basically, no one responds. We get the same thing, too, but we just keep keep at it in, in many different ways. And so there's always something. And again, this is why each one of us came here, is to wake up. And so all of a sudden, here's this challenge and this adventure. So what is it that you can figure out and do and contribute, you see? So, because that becomes your life too, because if you don't, it's another dead life. And I've seen people that uh, would cross over to the other side and even with us, that they're worse off because they didn't pay attention here. And so it's, you, you kind of wonder, gee, what do I do? Well, uh, again, it takes a whole lot. You know, it takes a whole lot, just like a, uh, you know, mother raising children. You don't just uh, feed them one or two days, uh, you know, the week or the month or the year. You, you do it every single moment. That's your focus. That's your intent. Again, this is why you came here. And it's not about it's the me, me, me thing like in the spiritual past. It's about the bigger picture, supporting uh, the real guides. Then they support you. Uh, we support, support those that step up. They support us for what we're doing. We are the real focus. We are the real light here. Uh, the real light from the real universe is not the secondary astral light, the uh, sound good, pretty word, knowledge, etc. And so um, I've been, uh, you know, uh, with uh, Claudie and Sandy very closely. Uh, we're doing uh, some very special things. And so... Uh, you girls want to say a few words along these lines? And you know what I'm going to do, uh, Charles? I'm going to, uh, you know, yeah, bring up your questions. That's fine. We'll go over that, too. But I appreciate your report. That was very good. 
Uh, let's get more into that. I'm going to look and uh, personally contact uh, African groups here and uh, see what's going on and start from there. Uh, and I will do that and uh, create more groups here on Facebook and Kelsey will create more websites. But uh, I see that uh, Claudia and Sandy are uh, the great witnesses here. So they're going to kind of share some things uh, with everybody here. Uh, uh, kind of along the ideas of what we're doing, that there is a bigger picture happening. Uh, to help people out and for those people that uh, want to pay more attention uh, look to the real side Kelsey and and Henry and Val and others are uh, it is showing up and so uh, again there's many ways to do things and yes Charles uh, appreciate that that was very good uh, so Miriam I'm I'm assuming yes physically uh, she's very handicapped and has to deal with it I get that uh, so, uh, yeah, I know, uh, I would like to do a lot more myself and, and been working on this for a long time to bring things forward, to, uh, help the situation there and every, everywhere else. And yeah, I'm being pushed back too. So, uh, but anyhow, uh, Kelsey have, uh, Claudia and, uh, Sandy speak up here a little bit, will you? Go ahead, Claudia and Claudia and both Sandy are here. They're both on their own Skype. They can mute and unmute themselves at any time. Thank you. This is Claudia. It is such a privilege to be with you. I have been without uh, contact for a year. This is the first time to be able to hear you and see you on Skype. So I appreciate what Charles is going through, and um, it's quite a bit of a challenge, I understand. But as Duane has said, even if it's just one to one, one, one person can start a fire. One person. And two people can put it out. So if it's possible. Even though that you are, are constrained with uh, uh, government regulations that do not allow you the freedom to talk to others, you can still just go and have a cup of coffee or, or something with someone. You can even take a package of seeds, like carrots or something, and, and put them on the side of the road and make a straight line. Or you can make the word in you with seeds or plants on the side of the road. Anything that starts a project is helpful, even though it doesn't seem like it is. <clears throat> Excuse me, one one little effort can start a whole bunch of people awakening. And that is such a gift to give to others to help them Awaken. And by awakening, all you're doing is drawing their attention to something unusual, like a bunch of a row of carrots down the road, just by one little seed in a row, one upon one upon one. Um, it, it, it's it's contacting the earth. Physically, it's contacting your your inner awareness by doing something inner awareness can come through in many different situations just talking to someone on the street commenting about well <clears throat> i'm trying this new sound it's called in you and you can sing it for me and it's you sing it really easy you 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 and i'm trying this by telling this to someone else, you have put a drop in the bucket. And if you keep putting a drop in the bucket, pretty soon your bucket will be full. So every time you get a chance, just a little sentence, one sentence, or even as you're walking along the sidewalk, you, 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 under your breath, or even just think it, 
you're doing something right there. You are helping your awareness to become more viable in the world that you live in. Thank you. Yes, I uh, I agree totally with Claudia. Um, Africa is such a beautiful nation, um, despite what's going on there. But there are many things that you can do to uh, just uh, go about your business, and you don't. Uh, you might have, like Claudia said, a cup of coffee with somebody, and any little thing that you do will increase the whole awareness of where you are. And uh, even like Claudia said, too, singing to yourself. I know I have a little puppy, and when I sing New You, You Aloud, she even joins in. And the whole universe joins in. It's, it's a wonderful thing. And uh, I know Claudia mentioned planting seeds. That's wonderful. Um, I'm sure African people need, uh, need that. And uh, it, it just kind of expands once you do something. It grows and it grows and it grows, just, just like a tiny little seed. So uh, it's, uh, it's out there for you to do for you to increase your awareness, for you to be the new you, you. And uh, it just, uh, just do what you can, because every little tiny, tiny bit helps. Thank you.